Hi, it's Jonathan from Melbourne Aquaponics. Welcome into this video. Today I would like to show you how to safely cycle your ecosystem, your aquaponics setup, without fish. So I would like to start this video by uh, thanking you for the number of, uh, of likes that I received and the number of views that I have on my videos and also for the number of comments. I really enjoy uh, reading you. I think it adds a lot of information on the channel and a lot of life uh, and I think it helps uh, all of you when you can read the comments uh, below, below the video. So uh, if you got uh, any question or if you got a special opinion, please leave me any comment under the video. It's going to help. Uh, so today I will, uh, I'm making this special video to respond to Hector who asked me a video about how to cycle the system, how to start basically uh, the ecosystem into the aquaponics setup. So uh, there are different ways to cycle a system. So what we call cycle is basically starting the nitrogen cycle into the aquaponics setup. So as you know, when you start your aquaponics setup, you don't have enough bacteria into the into the ecosystem. So uh, if, you, if you put your fish straight away, as I show you in, in another video, uh, you're gonna create a lot of ammonia, and this ammonia is gonna raise a peak, and it, it may be very toxic for the fish, and then it's gonna produce also nitrates that are also toxic for the fish, very toxic, even more than ammonia. And then it's gonna create nitrates, which is uh, the food for the plant, which is completely fine. So, um, it's important to understand that you need to go through this cycle with those different peak, and it, that's why I personally advise to start your system without the fish inside, otherwise you may lose some or you may stress some. So the um, so best way for me to cycle an, uh, an aquaponic setup is obviously without fish, and then we got different options how to cycle the setup, right? We need to somewhere add some ammonia into the setup. So to add some ammonia into the setup, you can either add some uh, fertilizer, but most of the time the fertilizer is nitrate. So it's already transformed into nitrate, so you are not going to really uh, give some ammonia, which is the food for the bacteria that you want to grow, because the whole process of cycling a system is basically to grow uh, the bacteria that you want to you want to have into the grow bed. So what I would uh, advise to do is basically to just to to buy some fish food, the fish food that you're going to use for the future fish that you want to have into the setup. Because of the fish food is exactly the source of ammonia you're going to, that you're going to have into your setup. So it's, it's exactly what is, what is going to be into the, into the setup later. And that's exactly what the bacteria that are going to live into the setup are going to eat. So if you start with the fish food, you are not going to it's not going to change, it's going to make a nice transition between the time you don't have fish to the time you have fish. Because you can also start with cat food, you can start with a lot of different uh, sources of ammonia. But what I recommend is to start with the fish food that you would use for the fish that you're going to have later on into the setup. So buy some fish food and just take a handful of uh, fish food and put it into your, uh, into your fish tank, right? And uh, this fish food is gonna uh, is gonna decompose into the into the into the water. It's gonna release a lot of ammonia into the water, and it's gonna be the source of uh, of ammonia for your bacteria. And that's exactly how you cycle a system. You just have to have one input of ammonia into the system. So the first day when you put the fish food into the into the water, the fish food. So it's fish pellets, it's going to break down slowly, slowly. So the first day, it's going to, the ammonia is going to rest little bit by little bit. And then after a few days, the ammonia is going to be released into the water. And, and you're going to have a, a certain peak of, uh, of ammonia into the water, right? Um, so that's, that's how you cycle the system. And then obviously, you, need, you know that you need a few weeks to go through the peak of, nit of ammonia and the peak of nitrates, right? Um, at the end of uh, those two peaks, 
you can then introduce the fish. Uh, and you know this because we developed it in another video. What I would like to tell you today is what is the best way to cycle it. So obviously you know now that you need to put some fish food, but then there are some tricks to improve the efficiency of the cycle, right? Because you know that you need to wait a, a certain period of time for this, for this bacteria population, for those bacteria population, Nitrosomonas and Nitrobacter, to appear into your setup. Now, you know that bacteria are everywhere, and if you just put your grow bed, and if you just put some fish food, just as I, I explained to you, it's going to work. But you can also introduce some bacteria into your setup. And the best way to introduce the bacteria is to find them where they are and to put them into the setup. So, you know that bacteria are everywhere, but the bacteria that we want to use here are bacteria that are able to transform the ammonia in nitrate and transform the nitrate in nitrate. And those bacteria, Nitrosomonas and Nitrobacter, they are, uh, they are very, in very high density into the compost. Because this is what they do in a compost. In a compost, you got a lot of different animals, you got fungus, you got insects, you got a, a big biodiversity. And at the end, you got ammonia that is released. And you got all those bacteria that we want, they are present into a compost, right? And they transform this ammonia into nitrate and nitrate. And that's why you can't use a compost when it's, when it's young, but when the compost is ready, at the end, you have a lot of nitrate, and that's why you can put it into your, into your garden. So the best thing to take is not really the compost, but a worm casting. So if you have a worm farm, and if you can have access to the worm casting, it's the best thing you can introduce into your setup when you want to start an aquaponic setup. So you just grab a, a female stocking, and you put a bit of worm casting inside, you create a little bag, and you put it inside your media, right? So if it's, if it's still into this bag, once your setup is cycled, you can just remove the bag. Uh, so it's convenient to have it in the bag. Um, I, that's what, that's what I, would, uh, I would recommend you to do. Another way to, uh, to increase uh, or to reduce the time of cycling is uh, to introduce some gravels or some media or some scoria, whatever, um, from an established eco, uh, aquaponic setup, so ecosystem. So if you know someone who's got aquaponics, and if his setup is working well, if he hasn't got any disease or something like that, you can just grab a handful of his media, and you introduce, you introduce it into your, your new uh, aquaponic setup. And in this way, you're going to boost, uh, you're going you're gonna to introduce some bacteria into the, into the new home. And obviously with the input of fish food, of ammonia that, you, that come from the fish food that you put into the fish tank, they're going to grow everywhere and they're going to colonize uh, this media and the cy cycling process, cycling time, is going to be decreased. So you're going to be able to introduce your fish a bit earlier. So that's the trick that I have to, uh, to give you today. It's really, uh, first, please cycle without fish and uh, then just introduce a bit of fish food into your fish tank uh, control the ammonia level and uh, put either some uh, media that is already uh, from an established aquaponic setup or introduce some uh, worm casting into your grow bed and in this way uh, you're going to really decrease the time of cycling so uh, that's definitely the best way to start uh, and to cycle an aquaponic setup. I hope this video um, uh, give you a lot of information. I hope you liked it. If it's the case, please uh, comment it or at least give me a like. And uh, if you want to share it, you're really welcome to share it as well. If you got some friends that are starting in aquaponics, I hope it's going to help them. Uh, and obviously, um, subscribe to, to the channel and see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.